first successful attempt. The giant is almost ready. We need to make makeups. The filament feet coming smoothly, nice. Dice design hat end, carbon fiber rods, aluminium head, carrier, and the printing is seems successful. There is still some missing parts of uh, calibration, synchronization. Scary is a full hat hand. On the end, we will like to achieve to print this tubing inside. Hopefully. And this is the cube is going to be printed. 10 cm by 10 cm. The inside is the noise annoying, I know, but this is high speed gear ratio. The motor has to rotate a lot of uh, speed and probably there is a gap in the coupling inside the motor shaft and the gearbox input coupling. There is no other problem, it seems hopefully. The screw rotates in horizontal direction. Hopefully we see a box on the end. A cube is not a box. There was a small fix need to be done especially in the hardware the firmware need to be updated and developed we will be working on hot end especially issue especially the hot end firmware is uh, based on time and delay which is not uh, principally okay because the materials heat in the time in different curve, it's not a, a linear curve. So it needs to be uh, calculated by pulse width modulation and cut in and peak uh, differences. So in this two uh, input, we can find the perfect calibration. And the calibration should be always uh, checked and tuned in the real PID generator or PID engine you can call it. in this case I'm willing to work on this coding to develop further let's wait for the final outcome this first printing We use a Duet hardware here, Duet to Wi-Fi and a stepper tra signal translator, stepper drivers, actually hybrid server stepper drivers and power supply, controlling this giant uh, hybrid server steppers with the gearbox. We are not finalized, we are just on the first experiment, we will see the result. It is almost a centimeter, it's not a perfect slicing uh, experiment also. We need to find perfect tune on the slicing and the heating, we still need to experiment a couple of more times. I see some overhanging, it seems like 
power over extrusion. This is slicing failures. We will fix it later. First, we need to find out how much over extrusion is being done. And the extruder uh, nozzle diameter is about 2.5 mm. I believe we can have a better resolution with 1.2 also. We need to consider to have a second spare hot end with nozzle, small nozzle. For extra support and stability we have extra rods here. We removed for some design mistake but it is still functioning with these two it is, which is mandatory for the delta. Okay, we can see some more achievements but we definitely need to improve our slicing quality. I will not wait till the end, I will only wait for extra a few centimeters and I will see what's going on the inside. It is almost a 2 cm. We are ready for enclosure. We have water cooling, water block, and uh, motors are naturally outside. We can make enclosure and uh, heat up to 50 Celsius inside, and uh, we will not have any thermal problems and more energy efficiency. As you see, there a little bit warping because of. Uh, our ambient temperature and the heater issue. If there was an enclosure, we wouldn't see such a warping issue. It's still on the way, it's meant to be one cent 10 cm, but we will not wait till the end. At the 5 cm, probably I will stop it. After two hours, it will be complete, but I will not wait till the end. It is functioning now. Our next target is to make it better quality, better looking and more efficient. To be able to make more efficient, we need to make lightweight head, stronger arms, more reliable gearbox, enclosure, and a better build quality. We have water block on the top. Let's see from the top. As you see, 1.2 meter of work plate. A computer cooling fan and computer power supply. And the water block is working for the cool our hot end we have some speed controller and things we need to make beautiful looking this mess and the filament going from there it's just like a phone and receiving the filament and guiding through the hole Sending down for this end to here. This is still going on. I believe the heavy duty belt is causing kind of vibration on the surface. I see some deflection on the surface. The reason from the belt and the pulley. It might be it might be because of the precision of the teeth or the 
hopefully hold diameter. We need to find out and make the fix. Same height, just five centimeters. It is almost one and a half hour. It left one hour for compilation, but for us it's about ten minutes to finish. We stop at fifty one percent almost. Now I'm going to stop it. Home. And see what's going on. Let's measure it. is more like 10 centimeter there is some deflections actually it is better for the scale if you compare it to the scale with this production it is fine what we're targeting is okay but we still can improve with this additional part is waiting the vibration and belt quality quality joint quality enclosure and there is and so on so let's wait a bit for cooling then we will be removing it that's almost perfect for me to be able to make bigger products.